hey there guys and welcome back. On this week's show, we're taking a look at the longer Ray 5 20 watt laser engraver. Well, quite some time ago on the show, the good people at Longer sent me out the Longer Ray 5 10 watt laser engraver. And I brought that to you guys here on the show and we put it together, we had some fun with it. It has served me well for quite some time. It's a great little unit, but Longer has done it again and they have sent me out their 20 watt unit. And I'm really excited to give this one a try today here on the show. Now, when you first put this together, I have to say Longer has their act together when it comes to assembling these things. And the entire assembly, taking my time, filming, etc., it took me about 45 minutes to get the whole thing put together and ready for engraving. So what we're going to do is we're going to head over to the bench, I'm going to connect this to my computer, and we're going to give this a try and see how we make out. And you know what? We'll try a couple projects today while we're at it. Now guys, one of the great projects that you can make with the Longer Ray 5 20 watt is one of these. And what this is, this is a tag. It is a tag to label your cords. We always end up with excess cords all over the place. We never know what they're for, but by adding a wooden tag to it, it's very easy to know. So we'll just add here the name of our tag. In this case, it'll be the longer uh, Ray 5 20 watt engraver. And with that done, we can now send this to the longer Ray 5 and then we can connect it to our cord after so that we know what's what. Now guys, I want to give a warning here. There is flashing lights in this. If you are someone who is affected by flashing lights, please do whatever you have to do to protect yourself. But let's cut this tag and see how it turns out. And when it's all said and done, you end up with a tag to label your cables. Now, I always attach these with a keychain ring. The keychain ring goes around this section, the hole in your tag, and then the little chain with a jump ring connects to your cable. Now, guys, you may notice a little bit of burning here with the longer Ray 5. That is not the fault of the Ray 5. This is a 20 watt laser, so it has quite a bit of power to it, and it does do this scorching. Air Assist will help with that. I don't have an Air Assist hooked up to this one right now, but Air Assist, while running it, will uh, keep that scorching down to a minimum. Now, guys, one thing I'd like to point out is that the fan on this, the cooling fan, seems to run full time. So I don't have the machine turned on right now because the fan interferes with filming of the show. But this unit here, this laser, this is one beefy laser. Um, this is about another half again the size of my existing 20 watt lasers. So this housing is substantial. But the benefit of that is that it allows for a larger cooling fan here to keep the laser cool. So let's try a different project with this and see how we make out. Now guys, if you remember, we did this cat burning um, on our road grader project. And this is a perfect example of what the longer Ray 520 watt is capable of. If you wanted to, all of these sections right here, these little green sections that we are, uh, in this case, burning an embellishment on, you could have those as cutouts to form the grill openings that did the cooling to the engine on this cat. However, I'm just gonna test this again uh, with the longer 20 watt and just see how it works and how it compares. Again, there is no air assist hooked up, so it might be a little bit on the scorchy side, but we're about to find out. Once again, guys, flashing lights, so please protect yourself if need be. 
Now guys, with the longer ray 510 watt, the method of focusing the laser relied on a metal bar that you placed uh, in order to get the proper height between your material and the laser itself. However, with the 20 watt, Longer has made this even easier for you with a drop down metal leg. You just flick this metal leg down and of course adjust the height of your laser with the little thumb screw on the side of it. Raise it up and down till that leg touches on your stock and from there you can just tighten your laser thumb screw down, lift that leg back up, it magnets into place, stays out of your way, and your laser is perfectly focused and ready to engrave. And look at that. That looks absolutely amazing. This is a good deep burn. The cat symbol here was done twice, two passes with the longer ray five. And that is a super, super deep engraving. Everything is clean, even without an air assist. You'll note here, there's no scorching. There's no scorching. Everything looks great. It's clean. The edges are really, really clean on this. So guys, it just goes to show uh, with this particular laser how easily you can add laser embellishments to your woodworking. It could be embellishments on a frame. It could be on a scale model as this one was meant for. It can be on a pet urn. It can be on any project that you have that you want to add laser engraving. This laser can do it for you and check that out. That is an absolutely beautiful engraving. I'm quite impressed with that. Very nice. Well, I'm not really comfortable running a 20 watt laser without an air assist. Um, the results can be so much better when you use an air assist, guys. So if you are looking at this particular unit, make sure that you consider adding the air assist for it. Now this one is not the air assist that comes with it. I've kind of made this makeshift here with the proper size tubing. Um, I believe it's a four millimeter tubing and I have added this extra tube, hooked it up to a little air compressor over to the side. And although it's a little bit of a hack job, it will work just fine. Guys, while I have this makeshift air assist hooked up, I just want it to do another engraving of these cord tags, just to show you guys the difference in the two. Look at how this one here, this is the exact same material, but look how it's yellowed all the way around the outside edges and wherever the engraving was, that is from the laser burning or scorching your stock. If we turn it over, we can see in the back here, it's a nice clean cutting with the air assist, but look at this one. Look at the scorching that's all the way around um, on the entire surface. So a much, much cleaner burn. I'm actually quite pleased with the way that the air assist on the uh, longer Ray 520 watt works. It's a great system. It gets right into the nozzle of the laser and keeps it cool and prevents this scorching. So I'm looking forward to when I get the actual air assist for this instead of having this makeshift setup. But the makeshift setup will work. But check out the difference there, guys. So if you're considering a laser for your home, also consider an air assist. You won't regret it. Guys, the last thing I want to touch on here is the built-in control panel on the longer Ray 520 watt engraver. Guys, no need to have it hooked up to a computer. You just basically click to engrave, you click on the file that you want, and you frame it. It will actually give a little bit of an illumination there from the laser and frame it on your piece so that you can line it up perfectly. And when you're happy with that, as long as you've got your laser focused, you just click confirm and the longer ray five will engrave your file without the need to have it connected to a computer. 
Now you will need to save your file onto the provided micro SD card and you will have to save it as a G code. But most laser software has that ability to export something or save it as the G code and the longer Ray 5 will then recognize it. Guys, this is a great feature if you are one who burns your logo into your woodworking or into your projects. You don't want to necessarily drag your computer out to the shop and hook it up to do one little logo engraving. But if you have your logo stored on the SD card, it's a matter of three to four clicks away on Longer's built-in color screen and you've got your engraving done. It does a fantastic job and we can see that with the air assist, it is super, super clean. So guys, another fantastic feature of this laser engraver, the built-in screen allowing you to use it without the connection to a computer. And there you have it. The Longer Ray 5 20 watt laser engraver. Guys, I'm no stranger to laser engravers. I think at this point in time, I have six or seven of them, different wattages, different manufacturers. And I've been very fortunate to be able to have the opportunity to test these machines and put them head to head against each other and see what I like about this one and what I like about that one, etc., etc. But it takes quite a bit to impress me with a laser engraver these days because I do have one main unit that I like to go to and that one has done everything for me. I really like everything about it. So it takes quite a bit to impress me and I'm not one to sugarcoat things here on the show. If I don't like a product, I'm going to tell you I don't like the product. Even if the company has provided something for free to me. I'm under no obligation to lie about the products. So I'm kind of lucky that way, but I have to say that the longer Ray 5 20 watt, it impressed me today. It really did for several reasons. Number one, it connected so easily to light burn. I love using light burn. It's what I use for all my lasers. And while some of them need light burn to work, that's not the case with the Ray 5 20 watt. You can get the free software, it's GRBL I believe, and you can run the laser from that if you don't have light burn. But if you have light burn, completely compatible, it connected really, really easily, and like it was instant, it was fantastic. So that impressed me right off the bat because I have had issues with other lasers trying to get them to connect, etc. The other thing that impressed me is once I got the air assist connected, the way that the burns were so clean, zero scorching. And I'm, I'm looking so forward to getting the um, air assist that's actually designed for this machine so that I can put it through its paces. But for now, with the makeshift air assist that I've got connected to it, it's fantastic and it works really, really well to get a nice clean burn. The other thing I was impressed with was the detail. The detail that this laser pumps out for a 20 watt laser, usually on a 20 watt, the more, um, the more watts you get, the wider that beam. And the wider the beam, the less detail you can get. But the 20 watt longer um, has such a small beam that it gives such fine, fine detail. Now, focusing. Here's the other thing that impressed me with this. With the longer Ray 5 10 watt, I wasn't really impressed with that metal bar that you had to put in and adjust the height of the laser head. It just seemed like an extra process. You could lose the bar and then what do you do? You know, it's, it wasn't the best setup from what I could see. But they've really come a long way here and improved it with that drop down metal arm for focusing your laser. And you get that perfect focus every single time which really goes a long way to giving you a good, clean engraving. Guys, so far from what I've seen from the ease of assembly, like 45 minutes to put the whole thing together, I had it up and running within an hour, the ease of connection, the great engravings, and the price point. Guys, I have other 20 watt lasers that cost me, because I paid for them, in the thousands. 
This one's not even close to that, and it does just as good of a job. It does beautiful engravings. Here's the other thing with the Long Array 5, that built-in screen to be able to engrave without the use of a computer. It has an app that you can connect to and engrave from the app because the Long Array 5 20 watt has connectability through uh, your Wi-Fi, through your internet. So you have so many ways to connect to the Ray 520 watt. You have so many ways to engrave. You have so many ways to work with it, to dial it in and customize it to your use. Let's say you don't have access to the computer out in your shop all the time, but you want to do engraving. Well, you've got your phone access. You've got Wi-Fi access. You've got the control panel. So many options, so full of power, so easy to add laser engravings to your workshop projects. Guys, as far as I'm concerned, the longer Ray 520 watt is a win. Guys, I want to thank you so much for tuning in this week. I hope you've enjoyed the show. I'm going to be posting the links down below in the description for this video for where you can get one of these lasers if you are interested. It is a fantastic system at a great price. I know you're going to be happy with it. Um, if, if There is a learning curve to laser engraving guys and I do have quite a bit of experience with them. So for me it was a little easier to get this up and running. But once you learn the ins and outs of laser engraving, this is a great system. If you haven't already, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. We've got a fantastic audience base and I hope you're going to consider becoming a part of that. Guys, I want to thank you so much for tuning in this week. I want to thank Longer for sending me out the 20 watt laser. I hope you've enjoyed the content, guys. I hope you're going to look into this laser for yourself if you're considering a laser engraver for your shop. And more importantly, I hope you're going to join me again next week when I bring you yet another Alternative Tuesdays.